2,000 years after the crucifixion, men claiming to be Christ are still making headlines. And one in particular has made more headlines than most. I have been given exclusive access to what the media has described as one of the world's most worrying cult leaders, Alan John Miller. Actually, I've had a 2,000 year life and and my name is Jesus as well, so I, I was born Jesus of Nazareth in the first century. He has been compared to David Koresh, the cult leader whose followers died in a mass fire at Waco. He's been described as the face of evil, with apocalyptic predictions for the end of the world. He breaks up marriages and uses his followers for sexual favours. A friend of mine came to me one day and he said, I met this bloke and I reckon he's Jesus. You know, how arrogant is that? And, and what a wanker. I have read he has a compound and his followers are setting up home with him. Alan John Miller, or AJ as he likes to be known, believes he is Jesus and he's deadly serious. The Roman soldiers weren't certain as to whether I died or not yet. And so they actually speared the side of my body. Uh, up into the heart. And the world's media are taking note as he broadcasts his teachings on the net. I'm Jesus, but most people call me AJ or Alan John Miller. I'm claiming to be Jesus, that's true. Um. <laughs> How does it feel though, Jesus talking to us today and everybody watching at home and knowing that 99.9% .9 of that audience are mocking you, are laughing at you, are saying this man it's bonkers, and she must be as bad as him. <laughs> He's invited round the globe to teach divine truth with his partner, Mary Luck, who also believes she is reincarnated. Oh my God, this is, this is true. Like, this guy is Jesus and I remember it. And actually, I remember who I am. Like, I understand who I am now. I had to agree to be filmed and hand over my footage in order for me to get exclusive access to AJ and Mary. I travelled 10,000 miles to his remote home in the Australian bush, an area known as the Bible Belt, to find out the truth behind the media claims. <laughs> 